Expedia is the best performer in the S&P 500 today, surging more than 6% after the company's CEO and CFO resigned. Kelly Lines is here with more. So Barry Diller asserting his authority. Asserting his authority, and the market clearly is pretty happy about it. It's kind of, you know, a bit of a slap in the face of your CEO. You step down and the stock shoots up. But Expedia really has been underperforming under Okerstrom's tenure. He took the helm back in August of 2017. The stock is down more than 30% mm. since that time. Now, a big chunk of those losses have come just in the past few months after Expedia issued what was really just disappointing guidance in their third quarter report. They now see sales in the fourth quarter. Uh, sales growth are going to be less than 8%, and that's down from what was more than 14% at the start of 2018. And that's really what the disagreement here is. What led to them stepping down is the board disagrees with that outlook. They disagreed on strategy. And so, as you said, Barry Diller essentially pushing them out here. Disagreed on strategy. Do they have a better one? Does Barry Diller have a better plan? It's really the focus areas that are key here. So Orchestra, uh, or Orchestrum, excuse me, has been focusing uh, on building out Expedia's hotel presence internationally. But that's not where the growth is. It's really all about Verbo, which is their alternative accommodation market, how they're trying to compete with the likes of Airbnb. And because he had been focusing more on hotels, the Verbo growth had really kind of flatlined. And that had been their big revenue driver. But in the third quarter, you saw Verbo's revenue growth drop to just 14% down from 17. So the board now, Diller and the vice chairman of Expedia, are going to be overseeing all of the executives and driving strategy until they find a new long-term CEO. But they are really going to likely be focusing on Verbo and that alternative accommodation space. Can they space. really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Airbnb? I, mean, I just think of them having such a lead in that area. But maybe I'm wrong. They do. And, and it's not just Airbnb. It's a very competitive space and it's growing more competitive. The likes of Booking.com in on mm. this as well. And when you look at Expedia's revenue breakdown, yes, Verbo is growing in terms of how much it matters. It's now about 13% of revenue, but it's still far less than their core businesses. So it's a question of, you know, is that going to be the future of the company? All of those are the businesses are going to flow. Uh, go to the wayside. And of course, it's very expensive if you do want to grow in that area. It costs money to compete. So Barry Diller's not going to go run that company. I mean, and not in the long run. He's not a CEO anymore. Right. That's only his past. Do we have any sense of who is, do you guys have people inside or outside? Where's he going to be looking for a CEO? Not as of yet. For CFO, the uh, chief strategy officer is uh -huh. stepping into that role in the interim. For CEO, unclear yet. But I think investors are still liking the idea that Diller is going to be in charge, at least for the near term. Mm -hmm. He served on a lot of boards and he has a pretty well, good tra track record. Yeah, he's been a pretty good operator in his day, too, yeah. back at Fox. Very Diller, you just somebody to be reckoned with.